I think since moving to Korea, my thinking of plastic surgery has sort of opened a bit more. I've always felt that if you want to have plastic surgery, you should be able to have it. Here in Korea, it's like, oh hey, like you did that for yourself? That's awesome. There's less like shame and secrecy <laughs> that surrounds it compared to like what we have in America. As plastic surgery has become more and more commonplace, um, whether it's something big or small, people have less of like a dramatic reaction to it. I think that people are used to hearing about it, it's not as sensationalized anymore, and people have come to understand that, yeah, it's something that, you know, you do for you. It's your body, or your face, or your choice. That's just me personally, if I've decided that I want to do something, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I had thought about since I was a teenager. Previously, like as a foreigner, I'd been hesitant about having any sort of facial surgery in Korea just because like the Caucasian face structure and the Asian face structure are so different. I had seen another foreign woman talking about it online in a very large expat community. After seeing her surgery as well as another woman who was actually African American, both of them had really great subtle surgeries that corrected the issues that they had wanted corrected but it still looked like them. I had reached out to both of them to get some more information about the clinic. They spoke even more highly of the staff as well as like their entire surgery from beginning to recovery to end. So that's what kind of made me reach out to the IP and want to kind of see what their doctors had to say and see what they thought of like my face and what the possibilities were with the rhinoplasty. It's because I saw the other results from the other foreign women who had been here, and that coupled with how genuinely they spoke highly of the clinic. In general, when I'm looking for a clinic, I look for staff that is friendly, organized, and quick and efficient, as well as when I speak with the doctor, my biggest thing is I want a doctor who's honest and frank with me, um, which is what I found when I came here. If there was something that like I wanted but wasn't necessarily attainable, I felt like the clinic was very honest with me about that. After I came here for the consultation, even though the IP was the first clinic that I came to, that was what sealed the deal for me. And like I didn't need to go anywhere else after that. Right away when I walked in the door, the clinic itself is bright, it's clean, it's beautiful. I was immediately greeted by staff, which is really, really nice. I felt like even if some staff members couldn't speak English very well, they would make the effort to greet me in English. They didn't seem intimidated by me being a foreigner. It was nice to see that nobody was flustered by the fact that I was this foreigner walking in the door. It's very personable, it's very warm and welcoming and inviting, and I just had that sense that I feel uncomfortable like with these people. I don't feel nervous about the surgery as much as I did before or anything like that. And it's because of your staff being like as welcoming as they are. He's very professional. Right from the start, I felt like he said, okay, let's look at your nose. Tell me about your problems. What do you want addressed? Got right down to business. But like I mentioned before, that frankness is really important to me. And I felt like in both consultations, that I've had here, he's been very honest and upfront about, you know, this is what we can correct, this is what we'll do our best to correct, and what, like, the potential outcome may be. If, you know, a doctor tells me, like, oh yeah, like, we can do that, we'll give you a perfect nose, like, no problem, that's a red flag for me. So I think that not only is he good at seeing your face, judging, like, what is and isn't possible, but explaining that to a client, like, very openly and comfortably and frankly. Every question that I've asked he's been able to just like give you the answer. Sometimes it's quicker and easier for him to like explain through a translator. Obviously I can understand some of the Korean, but medical terms are a bit out of my vocabulary. But then when we had our second consultation today and he was explaining everything in English, I didn't have any problems understanding him or anything like that. Really, really great. She is very personable, and it's not manufactured in any way. It's very genuine. She and the staff here in general see me as a person. So it doesn't feel like this uncomfortable, clinical, sterile environment at all. 
Like, whenever I'm not in control of my body in some way, that gives me a lot of anxiety. I'm not at all worried about like the pain or the recovery or any of that, but the idea of being put under for a surgery definitely stresses me out. And I, like, I know I'm not the only person who feels that way. But one thing that uh, actually made me feel a lot better that I wasn't expecting was after I came in for the consultation and when I spoke with Joanne as well, she really explained VIP's entire process, how they treat patients when they come in and all of the safety precautions that they take in terms of the EKG and the blood test and the chest x-ray and checking my blood pressure. And then on top of that, the fact that there's a board certified anesthesiologist who's with me like from start to finish and like until I wake up holding my hand kind of, that really made me feel a lot better. Initially, I think I had a lot more anxiety than I do now. Like I'm sure on surgery day, I'll be like silently panicking inside. Um, but I think that that's pretty normal. I've followed all of the pre-surgery advice that VIP has given me and that's made me feel comfortable. I trust that on VIP's end, like their staff is going to be able to do everything for me um, on their side. Well, I'm really just doing the surgery for me. This is just something that I wanted to do since I was younger. I think I'm just excited to see my face, but like that little extra dash of improvement. I didn't tell my family back home so I'm kind of excited to see what their reactions are in terms of like both the fact that I did it as well as the final results.